some more FA5 content for you guys. I know it's uh, some of the more watched things on my channel, but trust me, the EG is going to be the most popular thing in time when you really see what it can do. Anyways, we all love the SIs. We love the FA5 as much as I do. One of the best cars ever made for the dollar. Picking up my buddy Brennan, who uh, also has a YouTube channel. Shout out to him. Uh, Harsh Industries, you guys need to check them out. They're just getting started. He's got some nasty builds that he's doing. Crazy high horsepower drag cars, street cars. So yeah, check them out, Harsh Industries. But I'm gonna pick him up and I was on offer up last night and came across a exhaust system that I've been looking for for a long time for this car. Because I do not want to buy one brand new because it's just really expensive and no offense, I don't think the car deserves a $600 exhaust. So I want a nice exhaust, waited for a used one, boom, found it last night, half price of brand new. NVIDIA Q300, cat back. That's what we're going to pick up. It's about an hour drive from where I'm at, not a big deal. Taking that side down there, driving it, get the good gas mileage. So we'll go make this deal, get that exhaust. Um, I will tell you it is from an FG2, so it's from a coupe. So I already know that the coupe exhausts are shorter than the than the four door. So we'll just basically cut off the, the back flange closest to the cat, weld a piece on, weld the flange back on, done, good to go. So that's our plan. We're gonna head out right now. I'm just picking Brennan up right now, and then we'll be on our way. All right, guys, let's go. We're on PCH, Southern California, cruising. Go pick this exhaust up with my homie Brennan. Boom, boom. That's Brennan. That's just beautiful, beautiful view we have here on the way down. Doesn't get much better. <laughs> we look closely. We look closely on the beach. Look at it. There's oh, your look favorite at, car. There's another Charger. Beautiful. It's probably a V6. Oh. It's got Hellcat badges. V6. Yeah. Sick. I never understood that. You got the guys that can't afford the, the, the SRT, but then they get the V6 and put like a $20,000 paint job on it. I know. <laughs> yep. I don't get it. And like 26 inch wheels, dude, that cost more than the like car. Like body kit and arrow and all kinds of stupid stuff. Yeah. Uh. I need all the downforce for the all the horsepower of the V6. Their exhaust, they always just do the worst. And it sounds like a G37 with yeah, exhaust. That's exactly what it sounds it's like. The most irritating sound on the planet. God. All buckled up. Just picked her up. Hell yeah. That was pretty chill down here in uh, Santa Monica. So it's gonna be nice. Just gotta do slight modification make it reach the four-door length car, so be all right. The two-door and the four-door aren't the same nope. chest? They're nope. different? They're this one's a little longer. Wheelbase is a hair longer. So you gotta add like, it's literally like a couple, like eight inches or something. It's not long. It's like eight inches, right? Well, that's you. That's, that's your eight. eight inches. That's eight. <sighs> Gonna 
cruise and get some grub and head back. Chill, chill. Crikey. Do you know, boys, the Taco Bell? Gas station TBZ. Had to get that, that little snack, dude. Got that Taco Bell with a view, huh? That's what I'm talking about. How about the view in the back seat? How about that Zoss, dude? Got that fresh Zoss back there. Actually, she's used, but it's all good. Hmm. Hell yeah. Got you that. know about that Baja Blast. What do you know? You don't know nothing. That Baja Beasy did? You go to Taco Bell and don't get Baja Blast. You don't know what you're doing. All right. I'm good. All right, dude. Let's, let's hit it. Slap that beat tech. Let's giddy. Um, emergency off. Turbocharger on. Okay. guy that just lost a race and you're like oh bro i would have won if i didn't miss first through fourth and my traction control wasn't on right hey you're lucky i better not if be the mine. honda guy ever rolls up to you to race and he has a computer in his passenger seat don't race him because he's gonna, i'll race him he's gonna win i'll race him on a roll <laughs> from a dig wherever oh look a g37 get out of my way you better man. not have exhaust i don't feel like having a headache right now oh. what a beautiful drive i don't know what's more beautiful. That view or, or my face. <laughs> Ring a ding a ling. Oh, saw it! Saw it. Nice face, bro. <laughs> we are back at the house. Uh, I actually just drove straight to the freaking muffler shop after dropping Brennan off, my buddy, uh, to see if I can get this done tomorrow obviously it's about closing time for him today so tomorrow about 10 a.m. we're gonna knock this bad boy out and cut the flange re-weld it back on with a little straight piece to make like a mid pipe I guess everybody calls it a mid pipe um, and get it all buttoned up and squared away but this thing's freaking sick guys look at this thing e I'm gonna polish her up I'm gonna freaking clean the hell out of it it does have some scrapes like on the main pipe up here, like from road scrape. I'm, I'm guessing the guy who really low car, cause you can even see on the bottom there, it's pretty scraped up, but hey, it is what it is. It is clean, it's nice, it'll work. It's gonna get the job done, so pretty stoked. But yeah, um, got a new vibrant gasket for the triangle flange um, that's gonna meet up to the cat. So yeah, looking good. We'll go in the morning, get this thing all taken down he's gonna let me use the lift i'm gonna use my tools pull the exhaust off save a little money doing it myself he's he's a cool dude i know him so um he built the exhaust for the uh eg track car too so the guy's super cool so all right see you in the morning well guys uh like i just stated we were gonna go the next day and get the exhaust put on but uh things came up wasn't able to do it typical but uh we are actually gonna go right now and take the car to the shop i'm just gonna drop it off because he was like honestly like you helping me it's not gonna be a big deal he's like i'll just do it i can pull the old exhaust off real quick i was gonna make a video of me like removing and installing it as a separate video but we're just gonna skip that whatever no big deal um so the next time uh you see this it will be exhaust will be completely on piece welded up uh you know to make it extend to meet up with the cat and it'll be on and we'll get some sound clips and do that so right now we're going to just do a regular sound clip with the stock exhaust and uh check it out and hear it and then we'll do some uh, after with the uh nvidia q300 exhaust on there we'll go ahead and start it up as you can hear very quiet inside very quiet Give a couple little revs. She is she is kind of warm already. I just drove it about 30 minutes ago, so not I didn't drive very far, but very quiet. You can hear me 
me talking on the video, it's so quiet. Took it over to the shop, they they hooked it up, took it all off, old stuff off. NVIDIA Q300 on, thing sounds amazing. Um, it's, it's quiet and discreet, just how I wanted it, but still has a little low rumble and definitely sounds good when you hammer it. So, um, give you guys a little look-see of what it looks like on the car and we'll do a little uh, startup and then a couple revs and I highly recommend this exhaust. It's two and three quarter inch piping and definitely bigger than stock. Uh, it's gonna help, especially if you get a header and then get tuned, um, which is the plan. So yeah, let's check it out. Just cleaned her all up too, wiped her down. So, and there it is right there. As you can see, it's got a pretty big muffler on it and it goes all the way, it's a cat back. So it goes all the way up to where the cat meets up there. Guy charged me 70 bucks to do the whole thing. Take it off, weld it up, put it back on. I could have done it myself if I didn't have to weld something, but I don't know how to weld, so yeah. All right, let's do a couple revs. Sounds clean, real clean. Nice and subtle, adds a couple of horsepower, especially if you get it tuned. Just a quality exhaust. I, uh, I have no bad words to say about it. Um, if you're looking for something louder, uh, you can definitely go with Skunk 2 Mega Power R. R, I think it's a double R now or something. Um, trying to be chill and discreet. And what I love about this exhaust is it's like just enough to, you know, oh look, there's an exhaust, but looks kind of stock. So it's like, if people know about cars, they know like, damn, that thing, it's not stock, but that's the best part about it for me. I just like to give that extra little pop back here in the back. Um, but yeah, guys, I love it. I recommend it. Um, wish I had a little more detail on how to install it for you guys, but honestly, it's an exhaust. It's not complicated. A couple rubber hangers, two, a uh, couple things, a uh, uh, flanges with some bolts and some gaskets. It's not, it's not brain surgery. If you can do an oil change in a car, you can change an exhaust in a car. It's not complicated. More to come. I don't know if you've ch seen it in the back, but a uh, little preview. Uh-oh, what's that there on the cover? My buddy just brought her back today. EG race car painted. All the doors, bumpers, and fenders are off, so it looks like a skeleton, but the shell is painted. I've got the bumpers and the fenders in the garage over there. And uh, let me just tell you, I am ecstatic on how this came out. We still have to buff it, so we're letting it cure for about another week. Uh, and then we're gonna put that nice buff on it and get it real shiny, you know, get all the imperfections out. But already it looks, it's just incredible. Like I can't even put into words how amazing it looks. With the freaking side skirts on there and the wing and you know, the, uh, the lip and the wheels, it's just gonna, oh, it's gonna pop, it's gonna be so nice. But anyways, stay tuned for that video. That is the next one to come. But again, thanks guys, like, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace out, we'll check you on the next one, late.